Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be upgrading the M.2 SSD drive on this HP Pavilion laptop. Let's go ahead and identify the model here. Take a look at the back of the computer. You should be able to see that it says HP 17T CN000 CT02. All right, the first thing you need to do is to remove the rubber here. So this is a stopper to prevent the computer from sliding away. There are hidden screw underneath that. So to remove it, pretty much you just have to um, get a prying tool to go underneath and pry it open. They might not have a screw here at the bottom, but we'll find out later on. Get a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using a PH1, that's the size of the Phillips. Go ahead and remove the screws. And you notice that the screws here on the top, they are black and the rest of other screws are silver. All right, there are four screws on the top. Two screws right in the middle center. And two more screws at the very bottom in the center. Once you have removed all of that, let's go ahead and try to pry it open. We need to remove the back cover here. Uh, let me see if I can do it on the other side. Let's try coming off from the uh, this side here. See if that is easier to pry it open. If you have a plastic prying tube, that would be better. It's just that it doesn't scrape the plastic with the metal. Sometimes you would have a scratch on it. It looks like it's pretty... Um, yep. So I guess the bottom part do have a hidden screw. Apologize on that part. Because as I try to pry it open, it feels hard to take it apart so that tells me there's a screw at the very bottom as well so right now it should be a lot easier to pry it open Right at this point, the whole back cover would just lift straight up. And you can see that the M.2 drive is pre-installed here at the bottom right corner. To remove it, you just get a Phillips screwdriver, remove that one screw, and slide it off at 45 degree angle towards your body. So slide it down. We were replacing with the, uh, the new M.2 SSD drive. If you're not sure where to buy the tools or the M.2 replacement part, please check the link down in the description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement part for this upgrade. Now, with the new hard drive that was installed, technically all your information, your data, meaning that your programs, your data, your documents, your pictures, everything is still in this old M.2 drive. For you to transfer the data over, you need to have the uh, USB adapter. This is the M.2 SSD drive USB adapter. You can stick the old hard drive in, making sure that it is not like that. You would have to either put a, a, a rubber band around it, like such, to hold it down. You need to have the M.2 to be flat holding it down, or you can put a screw here to lock it in. With this, it's going to act like a USB drive, just like a regular thumb drive. We can stick it into the uh, any of the computer to look into your data or to transfer your data. Okay, now the question is, 
This is a brand new M.2 drive. When you install, technically it doesn't have Windows on it, meaning that it doesn't boot to Windows 11 or Windows 10. So you, you do need to install Windows into the new hard drive. You can either buy one of this, okay, which is uh, the USB Windows 10 installer, or you can make your own by going to Microsoft website and download the OEM uh, USB media installer tools. Um, what I suggest you to do is probably Google and look it up. Microsoft Media USB installer tool. And that should give you an idea on how to download instead of buying the license off from Amazon or eBay. Okay. Um, if you're not sure how to do it, check the link down in the description below or maybe just look it up on my channel on YouTube. I do make a video. I did make a video of how to do it. So go check it out if you are interested to, to make your own USB. All right. Once you're done with that, put it all together, install your Windows, plug it in, install the Windows into your new drive. And that should be it. So I hope this video is helpful. And again, if you do find the video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. Uh, if, you, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And again, if you want to show appreciation, please click, click on YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube, sub, YouTube Super Thanks allow you to share your gratitude and I would really appreciate you for doing that. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Until next time. Bye now.